If you look around on social media right now, any videos that pop up, any memes that come up, or even any particular articles that are published right now, we are in the hot spot, the time period, in which politics is at the very top of the list for everyone. When you look at the definition of politics, um, and you also look at the definition of religion, there are some actual similarities. And it uses one particular word in there that points in different directions depending on what you're looking at. And that word is power. So, and I'm paraphrasing, so please pardon me, I'm not going to get this word for word, but when you're talking about politics, you're talking about influence and the gathering of influence and resources so that you could obtain more power. Religion, on the other hand, and, and let's not even limit it to Christianity, but religion, on the other hand, has to do with worship and pursuing that which already holds power. So, you know, gods and goddesses, you know, we, we worship the one true God, obviously, but ultimately because we recognize that that entity, that deity, has power. So for us, power of creation, power of forgiveness, power of everything. So when you look at that word, power, you notice that it is shared between the, the two. I propose to you today that politics in our society has become a new religion. And well, maybe not even new, but if we're taking God out of the forefront, if we're taking God out of the lives of the people, then that void is replaced with something, right? And I'm not sitting here with a finger-wagging type message. What I am saying is that what else can we do if God is taken out of our lives, but to just input ourselves in the midst of that void. So instead, I worship my thoughts, my feelings, I worship uh, those things that I can't control even, um, but I worship my ability to be able to navigate those things. My resources, I want to get more money, I want to get more power, I want to get more influence. So people will artificially try to create that power system through influence like I want to be famous through social media or I want to be an actor or so on and so forth. We try to do that. When that power is not within us, when we feel like we're, we're out of control, we start to get worried about things. And this is where we are in Matthew. In the book of Matthew, Jesus actually talks about this kind of worry. And it's in Matthew chapter 6. And he says this in verse 25, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or what you will drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more important than food? And is not the body more important than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you, by worrying, add a single day, or a single hour in this case, to your life? It's really interesting, isn't it? When we feel like control has been taken away from us, we try to grasp into thin air and try to figure out where this power is going to come from. Sometimes when we forget God is on the throne, we want to put ourselves on this what we perceive as empty throne and say, well, if God's not going to take care of it when I want to, how I want him to, I am going to put myself on this throne, and then I, I'll give it back to him when convenient. But, but God tells us in his word that he's got everything under control. I see people on, on the social medias that their entire life is consumed by the outward, by favoritism, by designer clothing, by the way that they look, by their relationships and the way that they look, the way that they speak, how many followers and how many clicks you have. And they worry when those things go down. I've seen people on videos go into panic attacks because they've, they've lost large uh, amounts of followers. It's ridiculous. We all know it is. Ultimately, if we are to be healthy in our lives, 
we must give up that power and give it back to him. Well, I hope you have a great rest of the week. I will see you Sunday.